with an update on the JP Morgan Japanese Investment Trust. I'm joined down the line from Tokyo by the fund manager, Nicholas Weindling. Nicholas, thank you for joining us. First of all, why should investors consider Japanese equities? Well, we think investors should consider investing in the Japanese equity market because, well, first, it has a very stable political backdrop that's in quite stark contrast to the rest of the world. Not only that, but there are major reforms happening here. I think Abenomics has been far more successful than many people expected a few years ago. Specifically, uh, we now have a much higher female participation rate, much higher than, for example, in the United States. That's something I never thought that I would be able to say in my career as a fund manager here in Japan. Um, we have a transformation in terms of the number of tourists who come here. In 2012, that was around 8 million people a year, but that's increased almost fourfold since that time, and it's really noticeable on the streets of Tokyo. Most of all, we have a corporate governance revolution occurring. You know, companies that we never expected to change are starting to increase dividends, focus on ROE, change the structure of their balance sheets, and we think that's still at a relatively early stage. On top of that, You've got Japanese companies with some of the strongest balance sheets in the world. Over 50% of them actually have net cash positions. Uh, and it's a great market for active managers to invest because there's so little coverage of this market. Half of listed companies in Japan have one or zero sell side analysts. So it's a very good market for fund managers to add value. And how is the Japanese economy today different from the past? You know, there's a couple of reasons why we believe things are different to, to the past here in Japan. The first is that valuations are a very different starting place. Whether you look on price to earnings, price to book, or dividend yield, Japan really stacks up very well in a global context. For example, a lot of people, investors, don't realize that the dividend yield in Japan is now higher than the United States. Um, on top of that, uh, the pressure to change in terms of corporate governance is coming from Japanese domestic corporates and Japanese domestic institutions. And that is quite different to what we would have seen 10 or 20 years ago. Why should investors consider the JP Morgan Japanese Investment Trust? The JP Morgan Japanese Investment Trust is a company listed on the FTSE 250. It's one of the largest in the dedicated Japan investment sector. Uh, it has a number of important characteristics. Uh, one is that uh, it uses gearing um, to take advantage, so we can really take advantage of the investment trust structure. Uh, it has a very good long-term track record in terms of performance. Now, of course, that's no reliable indicator of future performance, but we do have that long-term track record. And finally, uh, it trades at a significant discount to NAV. And when it comes to running the money, how important is it that you're based in Tokyo? I think it's very important to have people based on the ground and to be here in Tokyo. Our entire team of 25 people is based here. What that allows us to do is to really look at many of the uncovered parts of the market. In Japan, there are around 2,000 listed companies on the main index alone, of which half have zero or one analyst covering them. But with such a large team, we're able to know what's going on in those parts of the market. Not only that, but we also can meet every company from the IPO stage and start to build our knowledge right from day one. Why should investors consider an actively managed investment trust rather than a passively managed ETF? I think there are many reasons why investors should consider investing in an active fund in Japan, like the JP Morgan Japanese Investment Trust, as opposed to via an ETF. Um, now, I know I'm an active manager, so I've got a vested interest in saying that. But when you buy the ETF in Japan, you get very high exposure to a number of industries and sectors which still are high percentages of that index, but have large structural and competitive problems. So when you buy the ETF, you could get very high exposure to sectors like cars or banks or consumer electronics. In contrast, if you use an active manager, they can uh, really just go for the very best companies and try to avoid those companies which have such clear long-term issues. Nicholas Weindling, thank you. Thank you very much.